me to do. Probably uh, Mrs. Juliana. Honestly, I think... Not even meaning, probably. Yeah, she's she's been, like, unsettled since Juliana left. And it's been, like... Usually, I, like, will have friends over, so she'll be fine. But I think since this is the first time it's just me and her for these days, she's just like, the head count's wrong, dog. So, why aren't we going to search for the other person here? She's like, I don't believe in your ability to take care of me on your own. No, she's, uh, she's just Also, like, if, if we start the video there... It sounds like Juliana left you. Oh no, <laughs> just, she, she's having I'm the just... time of her, her life in Vegas. <laughs> it's just like she hasn't been the same since Juliana left. I'm like Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, welcome back to uh, part 15. Hey, we beat uh, two two of these fuckers. We, oh, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't say fucker. Certainly, whatever. YouTube won't catch it. They will. <laughs> They'll definitely catch it. That's fine. I'll bleep it out. I won't, but. When, when I'm annoyed that this video is unmonetized because I forgot to bleep it out, you'll know why. <laughs> like, um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, well, where did we so, leave um, off last time? So we beat the second Divine Beast. There are two things I want to do here. One, I want to go introduce ourselves to Tolly Town, which you may never have discovered in your playthrough. Uh, and then I want to go up northeast because that's really the best part of any continent or any country. And, um, <laughs> from, and from there... Because uh, there's some guardian stuff I want to do there, and then after that, I think we'll head towards the uh, the flying divine beast. Mm. I like how you didn't correct me on the uh, on the northeast part because we both know it's true. I mean, I live in the northeast, so it's really so do I. <laughs> yeah. Someone's uh, gonna find like a northeast part of a country and be like, actually, this is where all the problems stem from. It's like uh, actually, there's several war crimes happening here. And we're yeah. like, well. You know. Um. Oh yeah. So, before we get into the topic that I I texted you about late last night. Um. First of all, were you high when you texted me that? No. That's worse. Well, that's okay, so this, much worse. For better. Okay, real no, real, real quick. For, the topic real, now. Real, no, no, no. Real quick for the viewers. So this is an optional side quest that spins off from the house buying side quest. Where uh, this guy comes over to clear some land, and you basically start a small town. Which I think is super cool. So the big thing is you need a ton of wood. Uh, and crows, as you know. <laughs> as you know, I have no shortage of... Um, so that, this is why I've been blowing up these trees every uh, occasionally. Just to, you know, get some extra wood, because I knew I would need it for this. So the whole, like, kind of... Uh, <laughs> The crux of this is that by building a town, you go and recruit people from across the, the world. But the clause is that they have to have sun at the end of their name because that's the Bolson construction policy. So you have to find people that that find, fit the description that he's describing, but also have sun at the last at the end of their name. So like he's like, yeah, find a Goron. Someone who's like big and strong, but like also, you know, I won't accept them if their name doesn't have sun in it. Low key, that's the American housing policy of Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, you're uh, you've been playing a lot of Elden Ring. Yeah. What do you think about I, it? I, so I finally caught the bug. Like, for those who haven't watched, I've never played a Demon Souls or any of those Souls type games. You like, just, past yeah, I was gonna say, you can just say Souls. Like, literally past the first enemy. I'll encounter the first enemy, I'll beat it, and then, like, I'll die, and then I, immediately after, I'm like, alright, I'm good with playing the game. And then you were like... Honestly, and that's, that was happening with me in Elden Ring, because it was like, I'm getting, I'm getting I, my... I think I gave, I gave you some very crucial advice, I think. Uh, yeah, which... to just go out and explore, as well as... What I kept reminding myself was, like, I'm getting my shit punched in because I don't have anything. As well yeah. as I was... The other issue I was having with, like, how to play the game was I kept thinking, oh, these runes are, like, I should be using them to buy stuff and not particularly using them to, like, increase my stats and stuff. Wait, thinking, like, oh. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Exactly. Well, yeah. Uh, I, was using, I was using it I wrong. Got, I, had, like, I, had, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I could have I immediately helped you if I knew you were doing that. No, like, in... It was more in my mind's eye. I'm like, I'm playing uh, open world RPG. I should grind out enemies, 
without in like thinking like oh I should really hold on to it was better in my mind to hold on to a bunch of runes and then like oh I'll cash them at a later point instead of realizing no you really should not hold that many like you should be throwing those runes away as pretty much as soon as you can yeah because, like, I mean Ooh, ooh, hold on. We got a lot of stirring there. But it was more, I, was, I had to, like, teach myself, of like, this is the rhythm of the gameplay. And, yeah, like... Yeah, like, genuinely, just so, so that... Because you're not feeling... You're assuming other people have played Elden Ring, which, I, which is fair, because everyone in the, and their mother has played it at this point. But I do want to, like, clarify for those who may not have understood what you were saying, which is the big thing with Souls games, uh, and this includes Elden Ring, is that you don't hold on like you can save your souls for an, a bit but the whole big like thing and the whole big clause in that game is that uh they go away when you die and that like and then you have to go back to the exact spot you died to collect them again so if you die twice uh without being able to uh uh grab them again you just lose them so just full full on just lose all of them so the it's big thing is especially in the beginning is that you have to like use them to build your own stats up first to a so that you don't die as often and b because it's dangerous to hold that many as well as, like, the thing, like, you have to understand when you're going into a boss fight of, like, okay, I should probably have an empty wallet on me right now because, depending on the type of boss fight, you might not be able to get that shit back again. Yeah, because usually you have to do what I, uh, what I call, and I'm sure others call it this as well, the salty run back because, yeah. you like, the boss is very rarely right outside a checkpoint. Like, you have to... You have to fucking go, <laughs> like, a, a while to get back to the boss. Um, that's, like, what Souls games are built on, is the is like, oh, hey, you uh, you don't want to have to make this trek again. Maybe just don't die, forehead. <laughs> um, yeah, like, but, yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm slowly carving away at, like, I agree. I had to look, look up with some guides and stuff of, like, all right, I feel like I'm running into, like, I just don't physically know how to play the game. And then I was like, okay, cool. Like, there's weapons in here. I should really explore the catacombs. So, like, now I'm starting to more of, like, understanding of... Oh, I didn't know you were in the wild over here. Wow, I thought there was really only one, and it was uh, in the bottom of Hyrule Castle. Look at you. Back again, huh? I'm a stronger man than the last time we fought. <laughs> but... Because you're playing Breath of the Wild, it does. It, it's one of the few open world games that gives me a similar sense of like everything here is harsh, but I'll figure it out. And then yeah, but I'm I'm I, I'm doing a prisoner build, which honestly probably a dumb decision. So it's not really uh, the whatever you start at doesn't really matter because uh, it's really about how you like kind of mess with your stats. So you don't don't feel like yeah. you're like locked in or anything like that. That's the other thing is like, I didn't, in my mind, for like the first couple, like the first times I got a bunch of runes, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll put it in HP and shit. And then be realizing of like, oh no, the, the weapons. No. I was going to say, you need, you need those strength boosts. <laughs> not only strength boosts, you got to understand your, like, the strengths of your character in terms of like dexterity and stuff like that. And really, like, you got to do the number crunching because otherwise. Whoa. Yeah, wow. Why, why did he take so much damage? I'm so confused. I don't understand why he, uh, why he got wrecked from that. Also, he gained health back. I hate that. Yeah, you should probably eat something. Yeah, you're right. I kind of. My only thing is, I wish that the food was like easier to get to. I wish it wasn't like mm -hmm. one of the furthest ones back. Got him, idiot. Oh fuck! I didn't finish it. Oh no. <laughs> I, I was like, this will be really cool when I do this. Oh my god. That was... Wow, that, that eye took a lot of hits. It's a good eye. We did it though. Woo! Uh-oh. I know this weather. Hold on. No, we're, we're, we're fine. I'm gonna live forever. Uh, <laughs> giant boomerang again. That's right. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear you're getting into it. I do like I like I mentioned to you before. Probably I think in this series, uh, mm -hmm. I think Elden Ring is probably the easiest of the Souls to get into because uh, you have options. Like the big thing yeah. with uh, with like Dark Souls or even like Sekiro. I mean, I can't speak to Sekiro that much, but the big thing with like Dark Souls uh, and those ones is that 
you um you're kind of limited to like you have like maybe a couple different options of where you can go but like not nothing too crazy uh so you like it's basically like do you want to go this way or that way and that's pretty much what you're stuck with but uh in elden ring it's like now nah, you've got a whole bunch of fucking things you can do and if any of them are too hard just i don't know just don't do them yeah i do really like the aspect of like like there's been a couple of times where I've had to bail on a big fight because I was just like uh, I've sustained too much damage here. Let me get on the horse and run and ride away. Versus like where I could see myself definitely in like a one of those other Souls games of like oh I keep dying here and I'm getting more frustrated than wanting to succeed, so I'll just stop. Oh, I forgot I was gonna do this. So we discovered something. One of my amiibo cards uh, summons a fucking wolf. <laughs> it just summons Wolf Link, and he just like follows okay. you around. And then the uh, the second, I think the second that you um, that you teleport, he goes away, and you can only use the amiibos once per day. You um, should be able to ride him. That sounds pop. That sounds wild. I'm not Midna. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, but I don't know. I like I like uh, giant wolf steeds. Like I think riding a wolf is really cool. More games should allow you to ride wolves. You uh, you want to ride wolves, eh, Mister Furry? <laughs> I hate you, man. I know. Um, wow, these things take one hit. You can't even take this thing down. What are we doing here? Okay, oh, so let me give you a little context to last night's text. Can you? Yeah, please do. So last I got night... It, I got it, and I was like, write this down so that you can read it out loud and realize how fucking stupid it sounds. Last night, <laughs> I went out... Uh, I had dinner with, like, former co-workers and got, like... I was a little drunk to the point where I was like, I don't want to play Elden Ring because I'm like, I'm not, like... My, I don't think I'd be able to, like, play well enough without frustrating myself. And then also, I was just like, I don't really want to play anything else, though. And I'm like, maybe I'll watch something. And then I was like, I don't really want to watch. Whoa. As well as City played at 7 a.m., so I was just, uh, I don't really want to, like, get get into something that's really, like, gonna, I don't want to finish. So I was like, oh, I'll just watch uh, X-Men randomly. I was just in the mood for, for watching an X-Men movie. Sure. And I was like, oh, I've actually never seen X2. I've seen the first X-Men, and I've seen the the third X-Men movie. But I was That's like, weird. I've never I've never seen that second one. So I, just, so I just threw it on. Honestly, it was just in the background while I was just like, like sobering up and drinking water. And I'm watching it. And then I sent to, uh, Nick a text that, without the context... It sounds weird. Yeah, it does. But I'm like, because this is, this is, in my mind's eye, this is what I meant. I want to really quickly point out that when I asked you to read a list of uh, twenty your top 20 games of all time, you sped through it like you were Sonic the goddamn Hedgehog. But and now that you're, you're this, this stupid, stupid fucking statement you made is you're giving it all the grandiousness <laughs> that it does not deserve. Like, oh, just... Oh, oh. Just really, really, really leading into it, and I'm like, it's not. I don't like I think, why. Why are your priorities so weird? So I asked, was Rogue the hottest X Man? Asterix, asterix, asterix. Yes, and then didn't give me more info. So let me give you more context of this, Nick. In my mind, in my in my mind, I was speaking purely on like power of like. But then and why also, did you say hottest? Because I was just like, no, because I think her power does make her hotter. Like, I think the specific, oh the specificity gosh. of her power of, like, you can't touch her, and if she's a really attractive woman, like, are you going to risk a coma for it? And I'm like, ah, that does make me want it a bit more, that they, like, I might die doing this. Because ain't that a hell of a story? Oh, Carl's like, we'll put you in a coma. I was getting, I was getting some, dog. Versus, like... I don't know. I feel like Jean Grey. She's boring. You know, she can read your mind. That's not fun. And she, like, also, there's, like, a nuclear level threat with her, like, turning into the Phoenix. That's not cool, dog. That's not, that's not for me. As well as, she dates a cop. Yeah. Uh, hey, you in the comments. What do you Hot think? Tech. I what was also, think? like, Storm is cool because, like, it'd be cool to date a woman who can change the change the weather but then i'm like also do you really want her to make it rain on your parade every single time that you do some dumb shit 
I'm just thinking here. I, you know, I'm spitballing here. You did are bring you, are, up a good... Are, are you confident with where you are right now? Like, <laughs> as oh. a person? <laughs> and as the statement that you brought up? Do you think this is the this is the riveting content that people are sort? Do you think this this is a good conversation? Like, do you think you you've like really hit a, a vein here? I really, think this I is quality my... content. This is this is some good stuff. Do you, do you think, think you I really hit that? Firmly on the cultural pulse. People want to discuss this. I'm just yeah. I'm you get no 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 for sure. Twenty years later, people definitely want to discuss these movies. Yeah, want to know what's want to know what's going to be funny? Like next week or something when uh when they put out that X Men '97 animated cartoon. There's going to be some TikTok video that goes viral about, like, hottest X-Men. And I'm going to send that shit to you. And I'm going to be like, I hope you know that I was here early. I was here before this. We're going to have to clip this out so that way we can go re-viral, put it as a YouTube short. But, like, just know that I got my I got my thumb on the pulse. Unemployed America wants to know these discussions. And, hold on, the game just, like, started lagging really badly. This may fuck up the recording, so I hope it doesn't. But okay. also, I was. What the fuck? I'm seeing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I, well, that's only you see that. That's... Okay. Because you you yeah. also brought up a, you brought up a good point of you thought I was talking about the actors portraying. Yeah, and I was just like, nah. Every single person in those X Men movies is attractive. I don't care. Um, you know, I'm not about to say real life people are ugly. I'm just saying more your powers though, like. Cyclops. If there are women attracted to Cyclops, you need help. The man's powers could blind you. You never gonna take off. He's never taking off his glasses. That's weird. Um. Hey, Carlos. What? Am get I thinking fucking, about this way too much? Get a fucking job. All right. <laughs> Just. Unemployment is doing some some weird things to you. You need to get a goddamn job. Nah. So my, one of my former coworkers, he's he got laid off before I did. He was telling me that he's planning to go see um the new Mario movie on Shrooms, and I was just like, oh yeah, that's unemployed. That's <laughs> Nick and Juliana would step in if I was if I was ever like, yo, let's go do Shrooms and watch Mario. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I'd be like that. No, get a job. <laughs> like. I love I. It's been really great with doing these videos during this time uh, in your life because I think my perception of your unemployment has changed drastically since the first part. Like in the first part, I was like, "Man, I'm sorry, Carlos. This really sucks. Uh, you don't deserve this." And now, now we're at a different point. <laughs> now I'm like, "You need to get a fucking job." <laughs> like, Oh no! The, oh, so that was the fun thing. I did. Go, I went out to lunch with former coworkers from the from the spot that laid me off, and they were pretty much telling me about how the new guy absolutely fucking sucks to the Hell point yeah. where, Always if you remember the guy with the with the messy desk, he was he's actively campaigned to try to get my job back. Remember, we are not friends, and he did not like That's working with me. Pretty so fucking funny, actually. <laughs> he he told the CFO of like, you need to fire this guy. He's never here. He's useless. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, dog. The fact that you miss me, a guy who actively tried not to work, but I was at least just there and did shit so that way we never, no one ever had to say like, oh, Carlos, can you get your work done? Like, we need this. It was always more of like, you could see that I got that shit done, but I'm, I'm not ever, I'm not going to take the next initiative, like the initiative step. I'm not going above and yeah. beyond. I am meeting expectations. And this guy ain't even meeting expectations. Apparently he's not talking to any of the tenants. Tenants have issues and like, they need their bills corrected and shit. He's just not responding on emails. He's just <laughs> he's just giving man. I feel sorry for you, bro, or uh, or I'm happy for you. I'm not reading all that though. <laughs> exactly. Apparently, he's not even doing that. He's not like they're. They literally tell me all the time of like they have no idea what he's doing with all that time. And I'm like, damn. And he's Love not it. on. Like most ninety five percent of that job was just like if you showed up. I thought like you'd be I clearly not but apparently like damn no one ever actively campaigned no one I worked with actively campaigned to fire me and apparently the CEO was like oh yeah Carlos was a nice guy I'm like then watch out watch out fuck up my money <laughs> I mean you know why well my, now I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I know why I'm pretty sure you know why did we say why because I, I think I, we did what about did, the did you did you get it confirmed at this point what that it was because I was getting paid way more than everyone else 
Yeah. Yeah, pretty much that. <laughs> Shocker. Great. And now they have that guy also managing other buildings. And I think he's using that as an wow. opportunity of just like to like fought, like hide and not do any work. And I'm like, Damn, you can't like that was the one thing you you can't wild out too much because if they forget that you exist, they're very quick to just stop to cut that paycheck because they're just like, I have no idea what you're doing. He's also like really early at the job. Yeah. So it's kind of crazy that he just like immediately is going so breezy with it and just I mean like, yeah, I, don't, but I, I know what I need got, to do. He got the job based off friend uh like a friend recommendation. Oh, yeah, yeah, that tracks. And I'm just like that's that is wild behavior. And low key, I want someone to record the next the next main meeting so that way I can hear all the shit he's not doing. But um <laughs> it'd be really funny if that after you finally get a job they offer you your job back. I think that would become full uh, sitcom circle. The funniest thing is, like, I knew that I was getting paid the most. Y'all, they could have just offered me like a pay cut, and I would have taken that shit and then been on this like. Yeah, it, it's the lack of like any negotiation. They were just like, "Now nah, you're out." Yeah, and you're like, "There, there are other steps we could have taken here." Like, as well as like, I, I left them in a bad state because it was just like they were like, I could because been they because much- you didn't prepare because like yeah. you didn't know. I at least, like, I, I ended on, like, decent terms with everyone I, like, I worked with. Of, like, yo, here are all the documents and shit. But it was very much of, like, you you need the shit. I can fuck up all the money right now and get everything crazy. As well as shut down their entire business plan by, like, calling a cert, uh Oh, Juliana's calling me. I'll call her back. I mean, you can take the call and just go no, meet. No, it's not that serious. She's on Vegas. She's at Vegas. I'm just going to text her. What if she's like, I need to be bailed out of... I need to be bailed out. Nah, I think she had... Um, actually, wait. Let me mute real quick and tell her. Uh, vamp. This motherfucker just tell me to vamp? I tell him to vamp. What does he mean? Yeah, bitch. Vamp. Mute yourself. Get out of here. Um, That's wild. It's a wild statement. Oh, my game froze. Right as Carlos left, huh? <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome. Oh, okay, stuttering. All right. Can we relax, Breath of the Wild? Can we? Can we? Can we not do do this, please? Okay. I don't know what's happening. The recording. It's being very temperamental today. We're gonna do this again. So sometimes if I activate my capture device and react or deactivate and reactivate it, it usually fixes it. But for some reason it was having issues with that. Okay. So this is a really, really annoying one. It's basically the same thing you have to do in the the other place. But the difference is that uh it rains more often here, I think, and also there's tons of enemies in the path. So basically the first one in like I forget which which village it was, the the one in the bottom right. Uh, they're basically like, yeah, do that again, but, like, much worse. <laughs> it's gonna start raining soon, and I can't do anything about it, and I don't want it to. Um, I also forgot to show off, um, I forgot to show off some of the, uh, items I got from the Amiibos. I got a couple more gear pieces. They, uh, they're being real jerks with, like, it's weird that you don't get the guaranteed piece. Like, you get a chance at getting... Special, special gear, and you can only use the amiibos once per day. I'm like, then why, then why go through the effort? <laughs> why, is, why are you actively gating this? I don't understand. Also, please. Oh my god, I hate it. I couldn't find another one. I am right, back. I need, oh back. yeah, I. This, this one quest, sucks. This, this one quest sucks. sucks. When it's raining, and now you're just like, I guess I'm. It's waiting. well, it's like rain is like a pretty normal part of a. The is like a pretty normal part of this quest because uh, I'm pretty sure like it, it rains like on purpose here like fairly frequently because they know that you have to do this part and also it's much farther away and also there's enemies it's like you've put so much against me <laughs> like I do kind of love like when the developers is like fuck you but maybe that's yeah, because right? I've been playing Elden Ring I'm, I'm learning to love the abuse. Cover here. I might be able to get. I might be able to get away with this. Hold on. Um. Let's see if I can do this. But yeah, I, I 
sorry to go back to Elden Ring, but the other thing that I'm like, now I'm I'm getting I understand like why people hype it up so much is like when the game takes your fucking like you have to understand the weapons you're using in terms of like oh yeah if I have a long weapon my reach is really going to be significant where other games it's like yeah your reach could be significant but it's really like not going to do that much in terms of protecting you against but like having a weapon that's just like like I got a longer sword and I'm like oh good now I can stand just like two inches away and poke and prod you and not have to like have that much fear in my life great oh, I, I, I gotta I gotta find a bow and arrow because I do love using magic I didn't think I was gonna be Mag a magic magic's pretty good uh, and I'd be abusing the fuck out of the summons yeah the summons are a huge part of that game if you try to do that game without summon like there it's funny that like you'll hear like Dark Souls purists mm -hmm. uh, which is like saying uh, virgin who hasn't had sex but, no, no, but no, there'll be like Dark Souls purists who were like, yeah, I don't use the summons. I'm like, why? The game was clearly built with them in mind. Like, Yo, it, that's not that's not like being easier. That, or that's or that's not like baby easy mode. It's like, no, it's the game is significantly harder because summons exist. Did you see that? Am I the asshole post about? Uh, I won't know until you tell me. OK, there was an am I the asshole post about an Elden Ring thing. And this, it might not have been a name out of the asshole. It might have been r slash relationships because I forget whose perspective wrote wrote the um, the submission. But it's pretty much boyfriend, girlfriend. Girlfriend doesn't game at all, but like watched her boyfriend play Elden Ring. Was like that game looks really cool, and she pretty she like figured out how to play it. Like really struggled with the game, but like un figured out how to use the summons and shit, and beat the game using like summons a lot. And then her sure. boyfriend at the end of that, instead of being like, "Yo, babe, shout out to you!" Like being your first, like your first game is Elden Ring to beat. He was just like, "Well, you didn't really beat the game because you used summons the entire time." Classic. And I'm just like, "What? What? I don't understand it's, people who hate their like who don't want to give praise to other people in that it's, regard." It's one of those things where it's like, I feel like certain people don't get their fucking rocks off unless they put other people down or they have like some sense of superiority and like. Elden Ring draws people like that just from everywhere. Yeah, and I'm like, like they, they come far and wide to show that they're an asshole. <laughs> like, it's because it's, like, it, it's 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 the mentality. It's like because the there's the like the the like in crowd kind of deal of like, well, you gotta get good. You gotta you gotta be better, or you don't get to to play my special game. And I'm like, oh, shut up, shut up to it, all of that. I don't understand if she went to the developer code and. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> like did some shit like that. Like, oh yeah, okay, cool. Or start doing like bullshit speedrunning techniques to win. But even then I'm like, nah, you did what you had to do, dog. I when it comes to video games, I operate like a WWE referee. If I see that if if I see that you got the three that. count no matter what happened between the bells, it, it is what it is, dog. That's a great uh great analogy. Yeah, my my big thing with most games is that if it's in if it's a mechanic that's in the game, I don't care. Do whatever you want. Uh if you're like, you know, putting cheats in or you're like hacking or using like stuff that wasn't intended in the game, that's different. Yeah. Right? Like that that's a little more gray. Like sometimes I might fuck with that, but probably not. It depends on the context cuz sometimes it's like, oh yeah, this game has a really broken boss and I didn't want to waste like my time really doing this, I'm just gonna like. Yeah, there's. Um, I'm like, I'm fine with that. There's a Persona boss that's like that, or uh, it's Persona Five Royal. They uh, or Royal. They there's a boss that they or they changed a boss up. That's like really fucking annoying, and it like, mm -hmm. it's got a very I I would say like broken mechanic, of like you have to it summons ads and you have to destroy all of them in one turn, but then it still has the ability to just summon them again on its own turn on its next turn. And you can't attack the boss until you beat the ads. So it's like, okay, well, this is a waste of all of our time. Can we just, like, can we move the fuck on? Like, oh, maybe I should do the increased movement. Get me, uh, get me further. A question for you. I know, I know I'm unbearable on Twitter, but can you yep. tell my general mood when, like, my, si my team win? You're absolutely for for sure, like okay. yes, 
You, you do not keep secrets on Twitter, which is maybe the place you should keep secrets. Crazy. I don't really have like, I don't. I haven't tweeted that I'm unemployed on Twitter. I think this is the only. This is the only media platform where I have told people I do not have a job. Like Instagram, your tw- don't your tw- know that your Twitter account is private. Everyone knows why you did that. Oh, that's true. Nah, but that, <laughs> that could mean. That could mean could a it, bunch of shit. Cut it. HR came, knocked on my door, and was like, "Hey, dog, you need to relax." God, this sucks. I like this is just such an annoying like. And it's gone. Like, what? That's so fucking stupid. I think everything involving the rain in this game sucks. I'll say it. The fact that you slide down, the fact that uh, you can't, like, keep the fire. It's just, like, it's just designed to do what? Like, because then I'm, like, cause I'm also, like, I lit some of these as, like, checkpoints. But now I'm wondering, like, if I, if I leave, are those checkpoints gone as well? So I'm like, I can't even go do something else in the meantime. And also, there's no teleport here. I'd have to walk all the way back up the fucking mountain to do it. It's just such an annoying task. It's not like you're not skilled for doing it. It's just annoying. Like, I hate this. Why am I smoking? I just realized. Nah, but... Um, oh, never mind. That's fog. I think this also makes for riveting content. That's what um, I mean, too. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Like, like I, I want to do this part, but like... I have to fucking wait around. And then I, I finally found some cover where I could make a fire and pass time, but then I looked at the weather, I'm like, it's almost over anyway. I'm probably going to overshoot it, and then it's going to be raining again. Like, I hate it. I hate it so much. Cool thing is that, because I ate the speed up, you can see in real time how long I have to wait for this shit. So far, it's been three minutes. Thanks. Yeah, I know. Um... I like I your thinking, your your proud, you're just you're, the pride you take and being like, yeah, I know there was dead air, and I know that there's not much going on, and that this is probably some a time where a co-op partner who's just here to commentate could probably you know pull up the slack a little bit, but I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm, I'm uh, here to fan the flames. <laughs> well, fucking, can you fan them, please? Because they're stuck right here. I oh, know. I'm trying to. I was uh, trying to think of other things to discuss, but when you're unemployed. Actually, no. One good, some good news on the employment front is, I made it to the final round of one interview, and I found I got the second round for the job that I actually want. And so, by hook or by crook, we might, we might be back, baby. We might be fucking back. I ha- I am worried. The one thing. Oh, the other thing that's really interesting to me is like so. My coworker got laid off a while ago, like, and he's been laid off for seven months. He does not seem stressed. He does have, like, a job that pays him, like, under the table. So, like, he's good for money. But I'm like, how are you not, not like, how are you living? He's 37. And I'm That's like... That's too old. That's too old to, to, to live like that. Yeah, and I'll he's say just like, it. well, he's just like, I'm going to be working for the rest of my life. And I'm like, that's a good point. But also, I'm like, if I try to tell that to Juliana of, like, let me relax and... I would not be here anymore because the stress that would consume her would like my dad would drive four hours to be like, what is wrong with you? What is, you should be stressed now. Like, your, dad dad keeps, be like, your dad would be like, Juliana and I have been talking and you'd be like, what? The funny, <laughs> the funnier aspect of it is my dad is like trying to not be stressed out about it. Like if you need money, I got you like, just like wait for a great opportunity, but like keep applying and stuff. But I'm like, y'all don't understand. You can say that until you interact with, like, as you've seen, Nick, you started this video series, like, Carlos, it's okay. And now you're like, Carlos, you got a lot of time on your hands. I, yeah. The, thing, the, the part <laughs> yeah. that sucks, the other thing that sucks when you're unemployed is, like, all your friends have jobs. So there's really no, it's like when you, when you were sick, uh, home it, I was going to say when you stay home from school, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, there's no one to hang out with until after work. And then it's just like, cool, like, but you're tired from, like, from working all day. By the way, welcome And I don't to, have any money welcome, for disposable income. Welcome to my life doing overnights where I'm like, okay, well, I work on the weekends, which is when everyone's free and everyone else, uh, and when I'm free during the week, everybody's working. So, I'm just yeah, sort of like here. I, that was, like it reminded me of like at Dunkin' Donuts when I had that type of like shit of like when you when you had to work Friday Saturday and it's just like 
well, I guess I'm just gonna, like, spend my days off with my eyes closed. That shit, oh, man, it, feel, it feels like you don't interact with people, as well as, like, now that, like, when I walk my dog at, like, for a long oh, you time, I'm, just like, oh. I'm like, what are y'all people doing out here at, like, 2 o'clock on an afternoon? Don't y'all have jobs? And I'm like, no, I don't. That's why we're all here. We are all the the unwashed masses. <laughs> all right. Never mind how to respond to that, Carlos. <laughs> it's just, oh, it, that's it, right. You can you can make arrows here, but they're expensive as hell. And you can also make like cool ass fucking weapons, like a goddamn chainsaw. Oh, I, ne I never. I remember seeing those prices and being. I think I got the. You saw the prices and you were like, mm, no. <laughs> I got the. I think I got the gear, and then I was like, "All right, I'm out here." Yeah, the weapons uh, can definitely be expensive, uh, but they they hit pretty fucking hard. Like the, the look at how much that shield does. That that's seventy block, and then this uh, has fifty five damage for the blo blade saw, uh, and forty for Life that. Yeah. RPG stats. <laughs> what? Why? Yeah, we need to RPG life. Actually, no, that sounds like some fucking crypto idea. Oh my god, it does. Ugh, I hated that. Um, I'll build the uh, the curious. Um, I don't. I need another core and more gears before I can make uh the pants. I don't need the helmet. Or I might need the helmet. I have the Midna helmet, which has the same ability as that as that one, so I don't think I need it. Uh, we'll leave that for now. Oh, I don't like that its mouth moves. Okay. All right. So that's done. Fuck that. Fuck this torch. Fuck this place. Um, they should uh, have a, a gesture where you can take a shit on a place that you really just don't like. In Breath of the Wild, they should. Yeah, especially in Breath of the Wild. Actually, right. in every and, open and, world and, game. And, there and needs you to be stand a by this. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> okay. I ain't got no uh, job. What are they gonna do? Fire me? I, I, I you know. But also, why would a video game fire you? What? I don't know. Nintendo didn't call my place of work. They, they have analytics on everyone who used the pooping gesture. Sir? It's <laughs> a, a lot going on here, Carlos. Uh, all right. Well, time to go in a labyrinth. We're going to find the, David Bowie. I remember there was a point in Ubisoft open world games where they allowed you to rate the mission. And I, want, I would love I to know. I do remember what, that, yeah. What was the result? Like, what did... The, what information did they get back of like the people purposely one starring like missions? Because I remember every tailing mission or anything that was minorly inconvenient, I was like one star. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that changed it. Uh, also, Ubisoft continues to be maybe maybe the most bland developer. Also, is the wind blowing against me? This is taking so long. Or is it just that massive? It is big. I remember. I got. One time I did this one, all I remember was I also had a handyman in my apartment at that time, and I was, like, trying to, like, solve that shit as well as answer his questions and being like, I don't really – I think you got to figure it out, dude. And he kept, like, asking me things. I'm like, please stop. Like, this is not a conversation, dog. I offered you water in my bathroom. Do your thing, and we're both going to act like I don't exist here, so that way no one's weirded out. I told you about the time, uh, speaking of Elden Ring, Elden Ring that – uh. This might be the reason I stopped playing, by the way, is that I was trying to progress and there was a guy fixing my AC unit and he kept stopping to watch me play Elden Ring and kept kept being like, uh, oh, yeah, I also have this game. It's really cool. It's like, oh, did you do this and this and this? I'm like, yeah, fix my shit. Uh, <laughs> like, and I'm just like, you know, cool. But like, this is a work day. Like, I'm, I'm playing Elden Ring because you're here and I can't really sit at my desk. But like, you could just, you know. Hurry up. That'd be great. Yeah, but I can't say that. So no, shout out to all, all the technicians and maintenance workers. But also sometimes I'm like, there's nothing worse when you get the one who's like the chatty patty. I was just like, say, there, I there are some who are who are Gabby Gus and I'm like my my guy, my dude, I I, I got shit to do, please. Like just, just, I I'd be down to have that conversation after you finish the work. Yeah, sure. It, right? Because then I don't feel like I'm distracting you, as well as I'm almost like, at this point, whatever, you did me a solid, let's have this chat. But but not in the middle of the, the, the work? Nah, dog. On the other hand, on the other hand, they are not billing us. 
they're billing someone else, and they're getting extra time <laughs> because they're taking so long. This so, is I'm true. Kind of, so, so I'm kind of like, you know what? I get it. I respect it. I can't. I can't knock the hustle. So I was going to go in the labyrinth, but I realized that the thing I'm looking for, I think you need to read the rumor from this horse stable first, and then mm -hmm. we skipped right by it. So, oh, okay. Uh, I didn't want to get too deep into it and be annoyed that I couldn't get it. That would have upset me. Um, but yeah, I, uh, oh, I've got some, I, uh, I've almost platinumed Binding of Isaac on PS5, which is crazy. There's so many challenges and items and shit you have to do in that game and it's crazy and I finally finally am close something not at all related but because when you said Binding of Isaac I thought of Christianity and when I think of Christianity Naturally. I think of Juliana's mother I Juliana's think of Creed <laughs> Juliana's mother every time Juliana's gone for the weekend hits me up to check on the dog in me to make sure like Carlos are you okay and I'm like do you think Juliana's out here cooking me like three meals a day and like tucking me into bed because I'm like that is not nothing changes when she's gone other than the fact that now they're like I have taken over her responsibilities but she's not gone for like a month she makes it seem like oh god Juliana's been gone for like three years like are you holding on okay Carlos let us know and I'm like I'm fine over here so I need to go to South Akala stable she also always invites me over for dinner and she lives like they live like an hour away and I'd have to drive and then the thing like the thing is like the dinner is fine and spending time with their parents is fine because oftentimes I'll go over there and Juliana will go do whatever the hell she needs to do and it's just like me kicking it with her parents but the issue is mostly I'm like if I go over there for dinner dog I'm not getting out of there until 9. And then I'm like, 9 o'clock, that's that's too late to get high. But if you get high at 9 o'clock, you pretty much, like, you're going to be high for an hour, and then you're going to want to go to sleep because it's like, ooh, belly full, the weed's hitting, let me go get, let me go sleep for the night. Yeah, but then, counterpoint, it'll be some great sleep. It will be some great sleep, but also I'm just like, nah. And also, the other aspect of finding a parking, uh, parking spot at 9 p.m. Uh, in New York City on a weekend worst thing you're parking like eight blocks away from your home and you're you're fucking hiking it back and it's just like by the time you, you by the, the amount of work that would require you to do it it's just like oh this is annoying enough so i actually don't Maybe think for lunch. i Maybe don't for lunch. think i found lunch. the stable that this is at it's the south akala stable i don't think i've unlocked the akala region yet or i don't know where that is let me uh check a map akala on the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. Carlos, are you in fact the map? Oh, I spelled a call wrong. I have this big old uh, IGN map, but it also marks the core exceeds, so it's fucking worthless. <laughs> it's just, oh, I, I, I did have to, I did have to cheat a little bit in Elden Ring and look up where like the pot the spots for Grace were. Because I literally, I, mean, I don't like, think I don't think it's a cheat to look up a map. You still have to go there. It's not like you can teleport. True. That the one annoying aspect of it, though, to me is like they aren't like bright enough that you can really see them from a distance. So it's just like, like for one of them, I was just, um, oh, it should. Is that the shrine? One second, sorry. Uh, keep What's talking. Um, the my one beef is like it's not as bright as the shrines in this game or the towers so like you for this one fight that you have to do with the uh, the werewolf dude i was just walking by the site of grace like just by accident i did not see it at all it was like to the left of me every time and i was coming from like the east side of it and so when I finally looked at a map, I was like, there's got to be a spot closer to this because this fucking hike is getting really fucking annoying. And then I saw it and I was just like, of course I didn't see. It. It's like tucked behind like a set of rocks. And I'm like, and the whole game has got a kind of yellowy tinge to it. I'm like, why didn't y'all go with a high, more high contrast color? So that way I'm like, oh, that is definitely a site of grace. Never forget the, uh, the Deus Ex joke where there was yellow paint everywhere. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, well, I guess we passed by the shrine, but I didn't actually go to it. I got it. My, I found it. My beef, or I don't have beef with 
Deus Ex Human Revolution having because honestly I'm like the real the, I it like very much fit the, there was there was, there was a weird moment in time where they were like you know what people need in games they need a single color filter over their entire game sometimes it's brown sometimes it's green sometimes it's yellow but this is what the people want and then eventually someone's like what if we just did color and then someone's like get the fuck out of here and they fired him and then someone else did it and then they were like ah oh, we shouldn't have fired him whoops that's a true story that really happened I was there. Okay, there we go. Right. For a second, I thought like you were actually <laughs> tell, like breaking news. Speaking of breaking news, have you reflected on how insane it is that all the info that we found out uh, in the last uh, last part? Oh yeah, like no, <laughs> E three was canceled. Trump was indicted. The Trump indictment is hilarious because there's a lot of people with that maximum copium, but like, what do you mean? <laughs> Just people trying to be from like, which side? Both sides. There's like the the side that's like nothing's gonna happen, so we shouldn't have done it. Which I'm like, whoa, right. that is a wild, that's a wild take to ever hold a white man to. Um, and then there's the other side of like, so what? They've done it. Like it's not really gonna uh, change anything. And I'm like, that's nihilistic as fuck. <laughs> yeah, and, I don't know if you've paid attention in the past like decade. No, nah, but I'm like, I, at the end of the day, my stand, and then there's like the crazy Republican side, which I'm like, that is the crazy Republican side. Like, I know what you, y'all motherfuckers stormed the Capitol. There is no bottom. Like, <laughs> at a certain point, I'm like, we have to recognize that we are not negotiating. The funniest part is like, they keep saying, we're like, we're going to, some DA in Iowa is going to arrest Obama. And I'm like, for what? And if depending on but the reason- so, no 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 so I, I I did think about this and I wanted to talk to you about this. There's like a big point where they're like, and what if we just like, and what if we did this with all of the the Democratic presidents? And I think collectively everyone was like, okay, so do it. I don't care. <laughs> like yeah, if it gets Trump in, yeah, whatever. <laughs> like they, there's not the same like religious aspect of like of like re- of the worship. And it's like yeah, I don't care. That's not my. Here's what you gotta do. He's not my family. Yeah, I'm like I don't know why you, I don't know why you thought I would uh, I would react to the same way you did, but. Oh my god! Oh, you gotta work on your putt. You gotta hit that shit like real smooth. It's all in the shoulders. Golf is not a poor man's game. I'm also part what? of like get rid of this. golf. Yes, uh, I've actually increasingly. Uh, Taking that stance as well for multiple reasons. One, I don't like a sport that only rich people play. I think that's pretty fucked up. Uh, two, boy, do you know how much land golf takes up? <laughs> do you know how much land and irrigation and just like golfing takes? It's ridiculous. It is a huge waste of resource. I keep hitting it too hard. Oh, my my nuclear take with golf is also just like, like there are people who like like golf, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't be allowed to vote. <laughs> but let's just say I need to know where you on January 6th um, <laughs> uh, real like, quick so I did remember something and I do want to talk about it you and I, I'm surprised you didn't question me about it I uh, I also had something happen later that day uh, of the Trump at E3 day that was an adventure of my own <laughs> which was for uh, between 6 and 7 p.m. EST I think it was like 6.30 and 7 p.m. EST. Wendy's had a deal on DoorDash. Oh, that, yeah. That was, <laughs> Wendy's had a deal on DoorDash where if you ordered uh, one of their like big meals um, and you use the code Biggie, then you could get $30 off your order. You could pay for the entire order. Um, and... Uh, so naturally, I saw that and I was like, "All right, guess I'm getting Wendy's for dinner." I was gonna cook, but that's a pretty fucking good deal, like right? That's basically free Wendy's. So I took advantage of it. I ordered it. I ordered it really quickly, and I sent it to a couple people. I was like, "Hey, just so you know," like <laughs> because I didn't want to like. I was like, "I got to spread the news. This is gr- this is a great deal." Um, so I ordered it at six forty eight p.m. Uh, and I finally canceled it at twelve thirty two a.m. <laughs> and. So what had happened was, to quote a great philosopher, uh, what had happened was, uh, apparently, I was not the only one who saw this deal. And <laughs> I think every Wendy's was flooded. 
with DoorDash requests. I had seven different door, different dashers for this, different delivery drivers, where they would get there, they would wait at the restaurant for a while, and then eventually, I assume, because not a single one of them messaged me, I assume at some point they went, fuck this, I can do other orders. Like, this is a waste of my time. This is not worth a $6 tip. Uh, and then they just fucking left. And I don't blame them for it at all. Um, so I, I will say, I, I was starving when I ordered. Uh, and around like 8.30, I was like, okay, I'm not getting this food. <laughs> there I, have to, I have to accept this. But I do know that the longer this goes, the more I can yell at DoorDash uh, to make things right. So I just left. I just left it going, but then I went and ordered from the pizza place next door to the Wendy's, uh, and I had a specific reason for that. One, because I could order without DoorDash because they had their own website, and two, because I wanted to hear a status update of what kind of a fucking zoo the Wendy's was, and it did not disappoint. Uh, the delivery driver came, uh, and you know sh uh, she gave me my food, and I was like, "Hey, can I ask you a weird question? Is the Wendy's like super busy right now?" Uh, and she was like, yeah, actually, it's it's like it gets really busy around this time, but it's like crazy right now. It's uh, like they have uh, cars backed all the way down the entire street. And I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that tracks. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and then I told her, it's like, yeah, there, there was like a $30 deal. And um, and she was like, you know, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> and I was like, well, glad I found out. But uh, there's there's one final conclusion to it, which is I. Uh, so at 12.30, I then contacted their customer support, and being being someone who works for customer support, I know I know some of the tricks, I know some of the some of the codes, some of the cheat codes, and I basically just immediately was like, I would like to speak to a manager, which is what you want to do. Don't be an asshole about it. Don't be don't be like, rah, rah, rah. just be like, hey, could you escalate me to a manager? Could you escalate me to a supervisor? What is wrong with well, me? Yeah, right what now? is going on? What happened? <laughs> Why can't I do this anymore? Maybe you just can't. Yeah, I don't think you can. No, you definitely can. It's just like not... Are you hitting the right button? <laughs> yes. I like... I wonder if there's latency. Shoot it in the eye. Just shoot it in the eye. No, it's it's personal now. <laughs> right, while you do that, I cannot hold my pee anymore. Okay, great. Yeah, this is the perfect time for you to leave, Carlos. Thank you. This is the ideal time. People are like, "Oh, when's to take a, a a bathroom break? You should make a chapter in the YouTube thing of like bathroom break time." I. Why are you not? What is happening right now? I, I think you don't have it's to. It's like it, he literally won't even swipe. It's because he don't respect you. I guess so. Now I'm going to pee. I'm fucking losing it right now. Alright, you fucking bastard. <laughs> what is happening? It worked twice. <laughs> oh god. We're gonna We're gonna call that a mulligan. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know why I lost all of my goddamn <laughs> all of my goddamn shields. I don't know if I lost it. Is there is there latency and I'm just not noticing? Oh, there is like a second of latency. Hold on. Let me try this again. Hold on. This is the third time I've had to do this vi this video. I don't like that. Up oh, now it's not coming back. There we go. There we go. I think there was latency. I just like got used to it. That's so weird. It does make sense. I kept feeling like it was What wasn't... I missed. So I think I had latency. Oh. 
I uh, I think I was like maybe like a second or like half a second behind, and that was really throwing off the timing. Um, because like I would I test it with like jumping in place, and it would like I would hit the button, and then like you know half a second later I would finally jump, and I was like that's not right, <laughs> that's not how this is supposed to work. Um, so I reloaded a save because I was like I don't want to throw away four of those goddamn shields for this. <laughs> like, that's a huge waste of resources. How the pigo? Honestly, I think last night's dinner is kind of uh, fucking my body up. I was uh, fighting for my life this morning. I had ice cream and grilled cheese yesterday, and my body was like, yeah, did you? You sure? Is that a good decision? Do we make good choices? Yeah, that be. Uh, fighting for your life is the, like the worst thing in the world early in the morning. Yes, agreed. <laughs> Yeah, because I've had to I've had to make some some runs to the there we go to the men's room in the home. And so I think if like, I if I so I think if I real quick I think if I miss the timing, mm -hmm. then the shield goes off. But if I don't miss the timing, then or if I like hit it correctly, the shield doesn't proc, like the uh, the like bubble shield. So I think I I was just missing the timing, but also it keeps stuttering. I don't know what's going on with the capture device. Uh, I might have to try and mess with it between recordings. What could go wrong? I just this is really annoying me. I would love to find out that my capture device is like dying, and uh, we're just pushing it to the limit with this. This is my older capture device because then, because I ironically enough, the new one was giving me more issues than the the old one. Dumb question, but because yep. I'm on, I'm on the website right now. I thought today was the day that like all the tweets go, like all the checks are done. But yet I'm still seeing like the real LeBron James still got his tweet. He still has his check. I thought it was too. It was. Oh, they did. They did uh, reverse some of the policy where like depending on how many followers you have and like your legacy of like. <laughs> Like, to the point where they were like, yeah, New York Times people, you can still keep that shit. Well, I, it was just, it's a really funny thing where it's like, imagine how much it would cost to have LeBron James use your website, right? Mm -hmm. Now imagine losing him because you weren't going to get $96 from him annually. Like, I just don't understand. It's just, it's not, it, it's, it's just, it's all power stuff. It's just, none of it is good business. He's just really trying very hard to turn what is not a profitable business into profit. And it's just incredibly stupid. I think, like, I understand, like, charging people for extra features. I'm just like, why not make it so... Maybe fix the fucking Twitter compression algorithm so that way people are like, Oh yeah, you can pay a little, a little money and you can upload your full YouTube video on Twitter. And we'll give you ads and shit like that. Well, no, the big thing is that, uh... Is that he? He's following the capitalist playbook. Like n none of this is surprising. He's he's yeah. stripping features and tr uh, deciding to charge for them, like two-factor authentication, which is like, whew, that's a so different stupid. level of stupid. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's like, he it, like this does work on less like high-profile things, but it's not going to work on a social media platform. <laughs> like, why would just eventually people are just gonna be like, I'm just not going to use it. Like. Yes, it has a built-up base, but that only lasts so far. Like, all he's doing, and especially by dragging out this long, is that he's just giving a competitor time to, like, make a Twitter clone. Like, all of those other ones, like Hive and whatever, the Mastodon ones, like, nobody's going to those yet because they they are garbage. <laughs> like, but it's just it's just a matter of time before they're like, yeah, we just got as close to Twitter as we can get. Is that fine? And then people will be like, yeah, whatever. Like, he's just delaying the inevitable. Or he could just, I don't know, revert it back and quit being a fucking dickhead. I oh, know, he, he, yeah, he in too deep now. I just want, I want to hear from some, like, reformed Musk fanboys. And just be like, every, what, every what once, happened? Every once in a while I go on his fanboy subreddit, but, like, the one bad thing is, like, everyone else like me is there, like, talking about how much he sucks. So, it's just, it is interesting to see, like, it's slowly falling away. Oh yeah, Twitter ad revenue plunges 89% since Musk's takeover. No way, crazy. Who could have seen that coming? 
It's just like... Right. I need one more sec. I'm getting really annoyed it's by this. It's weird, man. It's weird to, like, have... Like, there's another... There's a guy on Twitter that I hate follow. You know me. I'm not above that. I hate follow. He's obsessed with this one soccer player. Who I like as well. But, like, his whole thing is a fan page devoted to the soccer player and the That's thing i much. kept think the thing i kept thinking about is like and he like cheats about like oh look at all this uh charity stuff this guy does and how like highlight videos and whatnot i'm like it's all great to have a, a favorite player but i'm like dog what you're doing is you have a really weird relationship with this guy as well as i'm like if this guy ever does something crazy what are what are you gonna do with your life now like what <laughs> Like how how are you gonna survive if this guy like I don't know tweets out some crazy nonsense and now you have to live your life of like yeah this is a fan page for him and he's and he's wilding out fan pages in and of themselves unless didn't they're we, like didn't we see something weird with that somewhat recently where someone was like yeah I'm not a fan of this person anymore or it was like it was a the, James the famous one yeah was it, is, is it like I took my meds and now I'm not a James McAvoy fan anymore or something like that it's just like. That's hilarious, as well as the, like, Taylor Swift fans are insane. And, like, there are levels, there are levels to stand culture in terms of, like, there are certain, fan, like, stands you can't talk about. You can't talk about, like, Taylor Swift on Twitter unless you want someone to, like, call in a bomb threat to your home. Jesus, yeah. You, you can't talk about Nicki Minaj fans unless you are really trying to incite violence in your personal life. So it's just like, I don't, un but like, the thing I don't understand with these people is just like, what do you get out of this? Like, I know when I argue about my soccer team, I know one, I'm being ridiculous, but like, there's a certain level of like, I can't, I can't wild out too much other than saying like, oh, your team sucks. You should be upset that your team sucks. Come get with the winning team. And if you ever were to join me on my winning team, I'm like, you fucking bandwagoner, you suck. <laughs> Nothing really just, can stop you from You're really me. just the you're really just the worst person. Yeah, I'm going to uh to make this miserable for all parties involved. But um it's yeah, it's just it's just weird to be like a like a a musician. A musician stand even is dumber to me cuz I'm always just like, what are you arguing here? You just like this music a lot and now I need to bend at the altar of Beyoncé. Like, I can have a different opinion. Like, sports, at least I understand, there's, like, there's a numerical component to this thing. We have numbers, and we can be objective about this. Granted, people are still stupid about sports, because that's the best part. But, like, are you about, like, there are people who don't like the bands I like. I think they have bad taste, but I also don't need to, like, call their girlfriends ugly and type of shit, you know? Like, I'm always just like, what's... You have a lot of effort for something that legitimately... What do you like? Are you gonna have more fun in life if you change their mind? Because honestly, I like arguing with people just to argue. Yes, you do, and you <laughs> always have, and it's brought me much frustration. Because if you don't find a worthy target, then it's it's me who has to argue with you, and I get very frustrated with you because you're yeah. You don't that, use that's logic. like that's the one the one sad thing I am for Juliana is it's like she got to deal with like my most pointless arguments of like no one has spoken to me today, Juliana. So today. <laughs> We are going to argue about something. Uh, by the way, the trick to this labyrinth is just to climb to the top and then kind of Yeah, jump that's in. how I remember solving it as well. You uh, you can't jump in immediately to it. Like, you have to... Uh, there's, like, a lip you have to go under. Um, on the left side of it. I think you can also get there from the right side. Basically, just follow the stairs from there. But, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> it's not very hard. Uh, we're probably gonna wrap up after this, and then right, I'll, I'll let you take your break to get the dog out. I'm gonna try and mess with the uh, the capture toy stuff. Ooh, that's really good, actually. Bar Barbarian Ham's very good. You can uh, you can upgrade that past the uh, spear tracks armor. Mm. But also, there's uh, there's something else we can do in this labyrinth. We that'll uh, I'll show off in the next part. Okay. Come on, come on. They basically they lead you to the basement of it, and that's where we separate the the children from the adults. <laughs> Should we be doing that? Shouldn't they be with their parents? Yes. 
No. They're orphans now. As God intended. Uh, cool. I'll just give me the end of this. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to try and work on those tech problems. Carl's going to go take his dog out, and uh, we'll be back. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone.